just to be just just to be close to you that's why i sing a song just to be close to you 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 is my desire how many people have you seen heard something negative about david taylor i'm going to have success no matter who try to come out with a scandal or try to ruin my reputation you know i've been in this 30 years i've seen people try to destroy me they that live by the sword shall die by the sword and one of the reasons why when i've been attacked by people with their tongues to try to destroy my ministry god has never allowed me to be killed by that stuff if you judge other people you will be judged and that's what we live by here and this is why my enemies, they can't understand why they can't defeat me. Because God has sworn over my life by himself. But quit listening to these jigabugs, 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 jigabugs out here. They don't know nothing. They don't have no revelation. They have no understanding. All they have is fault finding, accusation, trying to destroy one another with their mouths. Who you think got the most power? Stupid. Why would you follow somebody like that? Oh, this is why I'm so bold in the face of all my enemies. This is another reason. I'm always saying to my enemies, go to CNN, please. Go to Dateline. Keep attacking me, please. That's right, we're going to defeat you too. You're nothing. You're actually the weakest category. Oh, this is a cult. That's a wile of the devil. You want to know why he's using that as a wile? To trick people from coming here. The whole point is, he ain't even trying to trick them from coming to our services. He's trying to trick the whole nation from receiving what God has given me to stop nuclear war. He's just trying to get the whole nation to reject what God has put in me. Watch this. So he can kill millions of people with nuclear bombs. See, I have 101 ways never to lose. I found a lot of them. Do y'all want to know them? Yeah. Can't give them to you tonight. I'm sorry. Too long. We got to eat tonight. Y'all got some Krispy Kremes? I mean, you know what? <laughs> I'm fighting gods now. I'm fighting way beyond principalities. I'm fighting kingdoms and empires. When a war comes to me, most people are afraid of men. So when something like this happens, they're afraid. So when I say Please bring CNN. Please bring Dateline. All of them. They're going to lose. My warfare is so much greater than that. How many recognize this is a demonic attack against this ministry? It's trying to discredit everything. I told y'all truth is not facts. It's a person. If you surf the internet to get information about somebody, but you don't go to Jesus about somebody, you are in sin. Do you really have truth or do you have facts? Is that out there the truth or is this the truth? Because the truth is a what? It's a person. God ain't with you. He with me. <laughs> and I've seen all kind of stuff. I've seen people slander my name. You know, today they have computers. They know how... I've, I've watched four people take my name and make it look like it's my Facebook and then write messages and make it look like I've text people. I've seen people, you know, with, with, uh, with all kind of electronic, um, uh, what do you call that, um, uh, uh, graphics. I've watched my enemies do this. This is why you cannot listen to facts. You need to listen to Jesus. What did Jesus tell you when you first came here? David E. Taylor is my servant. He is my friend. Why would you listen to anybody else? Why would you listen to a punk out here? Why would you listen to these liars? You let all of these out here be a liar. 
I can hear all my enemies, they saying out there now. See, that's what he tells them so he can brainwash them. He don't want them to listen to nothing we are saying. You're a darn idiot. I don't give a darn. But what I'm saying is when you are solid, you don't need to hear nothing. Because you already know the truth because it's on your waist. But I got truth on my waist. Truth is on my waist. It ain't in your mouth. Gird up your lawns. These are your lawns. It's like a belt buckle like I be wearing. It's when you start wearing heavyweight belts. You want to know why I wear heavyweight belts? Because my truth is so intact. It's girded up. Nobody can deceive me. The devil can't come and take my belt off. I'll kick him. <laughs> Number one, I ain't let another man touch me like that. <laughs> That's right. Call me a homophobe or whatever, but I, you know, I come from a generation. We don't like that homosexual business. Don't be touching me, man. <laughs> You're too close up on me. I mean, even when I'm with another guy, I don't like them standing too close up on me. Oh, I'm tricking these church people tonight. I'm messing them up. Because they think God is with them. If you don't know the good news of the gospel about this ministry, you will let somebody give you bad news. I can hear my enemies now. See, he, he's a manipulator. He know how to use the word to deceive those people. No, idiot, I know the word. Backwards and forwards. I'm a master at the word of God. We on too much of a high level to have any traitors in here. Got to get you out. That's right, I can say that on pain of death. I'll talk with them face to face. That's why none of these jigabugs, jigabugs, jigabugs out here. That, nothing they say means anything to me. And they're trying to stir you up and say, you in a cult, you better get out. Quick, you got to get out. <laughs> like we are holding somebody down in chains. Get the freak out of here. These people say all this stuff, oh, he a Jim Jones. Got people, spirit all at rest. Okay, well, we, they are, all it is is fear, panic. That's why when you go on the internet and listen to these devils, you are getting more darts thrown in your mind and you're messing yourself up. You ain't going to win. So that means if you are getting on the internet surfing, everything they say is negative about me in this ministry, after what God has told you, you're lying fiery darts in your mind. And you got people in this generation, all they want is another juicy story. God, they're entertained by trash. So this explains why when Jesus, years ago, when he appeared to my staff, one person, he said, and he showed them most of them in hell. And, in, in, and the person he took to hell was down in hell, and they saw all of themselves, ex including she saw herself down there. And she says, Lord, we love the apostle. Why would this happen? And they were wondering, well, God, we love the apostle. Why, 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 you know, why are all of us in hell? And Jesus looked at her and said, because of your attitude against him. But the devil used that in their mind to try to discredit me. And they ain't nowhere, and I'm still doing God's will. It's just that these punks out here, they want me to just, oh, no, we want you to tell it all. Why well, don't you tell all yours? I'll give you the pulpit. Come and tell me everything. Get the freak out of here. You ain't going to put me on front street like that. Think I'm some darn punk? No, you ain't, let me hear from you. Any one of you out here that's judging me, come up here. Let me hear your junk. You want me, you want me to tell it all? Well, he just ain't transparent. He ain't telling us what really happened. Bring yourself up here and tell it. Let me hear yours. Darn liar, you a hypocrite. Why don't you march your sorry tale up here and you come and tell it? That's what Jesus told me. He says, uh, whenever you go on the news and they want to try to challenge you about anything people have brought up about your past or mistakes you've made, uh, ask them to tell about theirs. So when I go on CNN, I said, uh, you know what, before I tell you about me, I want CNN to tell me all your sins, everything you've done. I want you to march your, your sorry tale up here and tell me what you have done. Amen. That's how you, Amen. that's how you. You keep the authority. I'm not accountable to you. Well, no, we can't say that because there'll be a lawsuit. You darn straight it will.
So shut the darn cameras off because I know you ain't doing it. Yeah, that's right. I said it. You're a darn liar. I, listen, I'm from, God saved me from the streets. I ain't no church person. I'm a kingdom person. He translated me into his kingdom. I, I'm not no church. I'm not no choir boy. So what makes these other church people afraid? They would never answer the way I will. Because I'm ruthless. And I'll never cower down to any church people, church punks, media, anybody. Men just want to hear your opinion so they can gossip. Aha, we got him. You ain't going to ever get me, punks. Stop being deceived by the lies out here on social media about me and this ministry. Just to be close to you. Tell me what you want me to do. Just to be close to you is my desire. Just to be close to you is my desire.